Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will be creating a dynamic news site using Next.js which is a ReactJS framework and a headless CMS called Prismic for managing all the articles that will be published on the news site. For styling our React components, we will be using Tailwind CSS. So let's, let's just go through how the site will look as you can see. This uh, is going to be the nav bar and we have different sections here, home, politics, sports and business. So if you click one of these uh, uh, sections, you will you will get to a page where only news, news that are tagged with a certain word, for example, politics will be shown. Um, on the home page, you have two sections that's left and right. On the left, there are main articles and on the right, you can see trending news snippets. So whenever you click on any of these links, for example, if you click this news, you will be forwarded to that particular article and it will be fetched from the backend CMS Prismic that we talked about. As you can see, um, the link has the slug that has been generated from the title of the article and you can then read all the, the whole article. This is the, this is the featured image and then you can read whole article and then you can go back to the home. As you can see, we also have a footer and once you click go back to the home, you will be redirected to the home page. These are the main articles and these are the trending articles. So if you click a trending article, they are usually short and like this and then you can go back to the home. So if you click a particular section, for example, politics, you will uh, come to this part of the site. Politics will, on all, all the news that are tagged with politics uh, will be shown on this page. And then you can really click on it and then you can read that article. So this is how the site is going to look and we will be dealing with server side rendering and dynamic routing in next years in this tutorial and we will be fetching our data from backend CMS. So uh, if you are not particularly um, expert in Next.js or just starting out, it's uh, actually very similar to React.js with just a few works. And uh, for our host, for our backend CMS, we will be using Prismic which has a free tier for community. And similarly, we will finally be hosting our project on Vercel platform. And it's a really great platform with a free tier. So this whole project is not going to cost you anything and you can use this project in your resumes or just if you want to exercise your Jamstack skills. We will also implement continuous integration and deployment using GitHub. So whenever you push a new change, a new new build will be triggered on the virtual platform. So once you uh, create an account on Prismic, um, this will look like this and then you can create a repository. We will be going through this in further videos, but I just wanted to show you how it will look. So if you click on a particular repository, for example, here it's new site. And here you can see all the articles. So these are the custom type of item types that you can create in Prismic repository. So these are called articles and these are called trending. These are the custom types that we have created. If you click one of them, you can see that the status is live because this is green. If you create any changes, uh, this will change to orange and then you can save and then you can, you can publish. But uh, I don't want to change anything. So um, I will discard my changes here. So that's it. In the next video, we will we will uh, we'll start with setting up the project.